introduced bills yesterday uh, dealing with taking the flag down permanently. Those bills would go to a committee. Uh, the committee would hold hearings on them just to get all the input that they needed. Then it would go to a full committee and then back to the House floor and to the Senate floor. So you're talking about a process that could take as long as mid-August, but I've heard from leadership, Republican leadership, that they really want to get this done. So hopefully it will be sooner than that. We may actually come in as early as next week, yeah. uh, depending on what the governor's vetoes say. Mike. Representative Rutherford, uh, has the pace, the accelerated pace of this change, has it shocked you? Uh, it is equally as shocking as the nine deaths. The governor was friends with Senator Pinckney, and I know that because I served with the governor as well before she was elected. Uh, so she's known him for over a decade. Uh, the leadership in the Senate served with Senator Pinckney. He voted for the former Senate pro tempore, uh, and he voted for the current sen Senator pro tempore. So he is somebody that has been involved in South Carolina politics for so long that all of the leadership knew him and knew him well. They know how passive he was, and that's mm -hmm. the most shocking part about this. What bothers me the most are those people that say that this is about heritage have not requested that the flag come down for the funeral, have not requested that the flag fly at half-staff. If the American flag flies at half-staff, then all flags. Let, let, let me ask you that. I want to show you something, and, and let's just talk about how quickly things have, have happened in all of our lifetimes. Here is a headline. Clinton called South Carolina shooting terrorism. Racial terrorism. Yeah, racial terrorism. And goes on and says, uh, Canada also says a Confederate flag shouldn't fly anywhere. It's pretty remarkable that while they were in Arkansas, and she was first lady in Arkansas, they celebrated Confederate Flag Day uh, for a better part of a decade. Isn't it isn't a testament to how quickly things have been changing since the the terrorist act? We think it's racial terrorism too of last week, uh, and that South Carolina seems to be ground zero for that change. It is. It is also ground zero for those murders. And you've got eight other people besides Senator Pinckney uh, that we are also mourning their lives as well. And in doing so, I watched over the weekend as things hit a light speed, as the governor called us in, as the leadership in the House called us in and said, look, we've got to do this and we need to do this now. So it is truly at light speed here in South Carolina as to how fast they want to make this change. And but for the July 4th holiday, I think we'd be doing it a lot faster than we are. Representative Rob